this is Dwight Norris of FishNetwork.com here on Tuesday at the Lower Charles River, right here in Boston, right next to the uh, the uh, Esplanade and the Half Shell. Sorry, it's a really, really windy day. We got white caps going over the river. I don't know if you can see them there, the white caps. And obviously, you can barely hear me. Sorry about that. Uh, today, I'm going to be uh, fishing some more of those shaky head jigs with. A new worm which is quite tasty to certain fish. I was actually in Upper Charles River and I could see the bluegills biting the tail and trying to suck it up and then when I try to pull it out of their mouth they grab it harder and try to run away with it. A fake worm trying to eat it like it's real and then steal it when it tries to get away. Hmm must be something good about that. That worm is the Berkeley Powerbait Max scent. Obviously, you catch this 45% more fish because the fish don't want to let go. At least the bluegill. And I caught a bass yesterday on that first expedition on the Saturn SD488, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of different processes to do that, and I basically was trying everything out right there. I even had some things that were still in plastic that I didn't realize were still in plastic when I got there, so I really like an idiot. So everybody was like, this guy's just pulling out this boat for the first time. It's still wrapped up. I'm like, oh God, this is going to take forever. And it sort of did. But I know I can take off at least 30% of the time that it took me the first time to get it in the water. I'll be going through all that later. But um, right now I'm going to put those worms up with these, uh, these shaky head jigs. These are the chompers. I think you can use any kind you want to. They usually, I think they have other ones that aren't around head. But these are the ones I saw at Bass Pro Shops. So I got these. I've already lost two. I lost, I lost one on like a, a three pound bass. It was a male bass sitting on the uh, spawning bed. And they, I saw his, his head go down, his tail go up right on my worm. And he, I felt him pull on it. And I went to set the hook and the freaking thing just broke off. Obviously I'm getting really bad at making my, my knots. Uh, if you can't hear any of this, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get this rigged up. I'm gonna try it right over here, these lily pads. I'm gonna go all the way up there. I'm gonna hit up there on the other side of the bridge and see if I can't coax some bass out of here. Guys, I saw them spawning, so let's do this. Well, I managed to get what I think was a bluegill bite. They tried to take it as soon as they hit the bottom and the worm just took off, but what did it? Nothing was there, most likely a bluegill. As you can see here, here's the, uh, whoa, the shaky hit. There's lots of weeds in here and the lily pads, but you can throw it right in the middle of those lily pads and really work it finesse style, really slow. And that's what I'm doing here. I right, have these lily pads and see if there's something happening. I've saw some two pound bass rolling around here. And I'm guessing there's some spawning beds here as well, like I saw last year. And everybody can entice them. Just right. managed to attack a school of heron. I didn't even see them. I heard this bridge, which is that first bridge I showed you a minute ago. I reeled it and I felt something. Bang, it hit it. But it didn't grab it. And then I threw it again. I hit it again. And about 30 heron just went whew, flying all over the place. So they're obviously still here hiding. Haven't gone up river yet to spawn. And hey, look at here. See the baby chips? Baby, uh, baby geese? Oh man, the sunlight's really hitting. But, uh, wait, here we go. This little side. Baby geese. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna hit up more shoreline and stop once I get over there. There, to the steps. I'm gonna go back to the other side of the bridge so I work these lily pads which are right here. Well, this is the last happens. stop for me right next to the steps here and the bathrooms here at the Charles River Espinot. Uh, I'm going to work this tree from the other side and you can't see right here. There are blueback herring everywhere and as of last year I've confirmed bass fishing ain't so good when they're around. Look at them just playing around circles there. See that? Anyway, I'm gonna work this out and that's gonna be it. Well, Heck yeah, that's all for me folks. I'm headed back to the office to finish up my work for the day, then head home. I'm not gonna fish after work, but I'm gonna put some stuff together. I do have my whole skip for uh, my next video out and I also have to pull up all the things I need to do to showcase the boat and all the accessories I got and how things worked and how things didn't work. I made that into a nice clean layout so I can make a video or a blog post or something. 
and I'll get that out to you guys. It'll, it'll take a little while, but there's already been some person who's looking at this exact same boat and wanted to know more about it. So I'm gonna do that. See you later.